Hey, I'm Dan Heim with Amatrol. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Ignite program. Amatrol developed with uh, several partners, including the Department of Defense and some of the Manufacturing USA Institute, among others. Uh, it's a three year program broken up into courses. Each course uh, is equal to a high school semester. Uh, usually takes about 65 hours, but it's a combination of curriculum and equipment and projects, whether they're worked on individually or as in teams. But what we have here is, is course one. These students aren't going to be familiar with manufacturing or what goes on in a manufacturing environment. So we're going to have to teach them the basis. What is AC? What is DC? What's a capacitor, resistor, uh, inductor? And we're going to have them do experiments on this basic AC electrical system. Uh, I think it's set up yeah, with the DC powering three lights that are in series. They move on to that. Uh, relay control, this is where we're going to learn relay logic of uh, two switches in series or two switches in parallel. You get different logic commands and uh, here a simple circuit set up. But these things are going to be building blocks. They're going to keep moving forward. This skill boss unit in course one, it's going to be used throughout the six courses, but in course one, they're going to do basic mechanical setups on it. They're going to install shafts and uh, pulleys and couplings and belts, and they're going to build those on this unit. And later on, they're going to program it and learn how to control the whole system. After that, they're going to get into robotics. They're going to learn to program the system, set up different applications to sort blocks by color, by uh, shape, and uh, set up feeders and, and program the controller. But I mentioned this was very basic. Uh, a lot of kids going into this program may not be able to uh, read a tape measure, read a ruler. So we're going to do basic measurement. It's going to get precise with calipers and micrometers down to the thousandth of an inch, but it's going to start them with how to how to just read a ruler, how to read a tape measure, and all this, the skills are laid out to do such. And then we're going to touch on fluid power. The, the first fluid power system they're going to use is pneumatics using compressed air and, and valves and cylinders and pneumatic motors to, to make things actuate, control pressure. We're going to have to teach them what pressure is. We're going to have to teach them what flow rate is. Uh, and they're with quick necks, they're going to make different setups on here. In addition to this, they're going to learn CAD and CNC, which I don't have shown here. Course two, they're going to reuse a lot of these pieces of equipment and go deeper, but also they're going to uh, learn manual machine tools, uh, electronic sensors, and other devices. And they're going to do their first team project, which they're going to come together and build a automated can crusher using relay logic to, to crush the can and uh, maybe a robot to load it if they if they want. Course three, uh, I have a tabletop mechatronics unit here. They're going to start working with systems. They're going to take all the components that they've learned in course one and course two and now they're going to have to start operate operating together and each one of these has the, its own controller, its own program logic controller. This runs every conveyor belt in every uh, automated plant uh, in the world basically. Well each one of these they're going to learn to program separately then they're going to bring them together and have this operate as a system. Uh, they've learned pneumatics and then they're going to get into hydraulics at this point uh, using an incompressible fluid of hydraulic fluid to move motors and actuators and things. So at the end of course three they're going to take that can crusher that they did in course two and replace the relay logic with programmable logic controller controlling that can crusher. So they're going to take that same project and redo it and automate it and learn how to program it. Beyond this, course four, course five, course six, they're, these sensors are, they're just switches. They just close a contact. They don't know if they're open or closed, but there are switches that can communicate through ethernet. They're smart switches. This system in today's plant is going to have devices that communicate up to the cloud and report uh, diagnostics down to the maintenance manager or uh, production data down to the plant manager. That system with the Ethernet capabilities is going to be able to 
send that data up to the cloud and down to the to the management and the students will learn how to program uh, that within this within uh, course four course five and course six after at the end of course four they're going to start working on their first capstone project uh, there's three different capstone projects this is just one of them this is a drone project and what they're going to be tasked with is taking a drone and making a delivery service this cardboard box uh, folds up but without the without this orange apparatus on here it would be tough for the drone to pick up the box so they have to come up with a solution using everything that they've learned and uh, this this is one possible solution this this orange apparatus was 3d printed and this base for the drone was 3d printed and this is a landing pad for the drone so the drone would drop the uh, base into position the pneumatic cylinders and they're they would program the program a logic controller is going to place the drone and as it moves forward it should grab hold of the device and then as the drone takes off it's going to be able to go into location and there's a mechanism here where it can drop the part once it gets to its uh, front doorstep we also have team projects this is a sample team project the capstone project with the drone delivery service that one's partially assembled this is what it's going to look like before it's assembled it's going to be a sample of parts uh, here's a, a grow light here's the grow medium there's pumps and uh, switches and pneumatic cylinders uh, hoses uh, seeds uh, fertilizer but they're going to take all of these things and in the classroom they're going to grow something within their their hydroponic garden using the grow light using the parts and part of the challenge that's set forward to the students is it's going to have to be automated so they're going to have to pump it full drain it out and then i believe they're challenged with uh misting of the of the flower so they're going to use a robot in the some kind of misting application this spray bottle for example and they're going to have to automate that to to spray the plants so that's uh that's just one scenario they've they're, this is going to take about 20 hours for the the team projects for them to do it as a total the capstone projects are more like 56 hours and that's going to span multiple it could start in course four go across course five go across course six and then they have to present it to the class at the end but the team projects are more like 20 hours uh, and that's going to wrap up that three-year program six semesters uh, they don't have to do everything here the way it's packaged if you only have one year they could stop at course two they're going to get great things that'll they'll be able to use in their future job uh, if they want to go on to course three they could they'll be learning program logic controllers they can quit there go on to their post-secondary career they can there's uh, different certifications that align to this this program so they could they could end up with certifications from uh, the smart Au automation certification alliance uh, MSSC they have a certified production technician certification but all those things come together and you'll have a hopefully a life changed of the student